Hi, welcome to Wild and Denver Live. My name is Jessica Hargrick and I'm from Littleton, Colorado. I've been on staff for about six months here. I worked as the kitchen director, worked in the DTS as well, um, and I've also done some mission stuff and housekeeping. And I'm Liz Van Bemelen and I'm from Michigan and I've been on staff here now for four years. Um, so I've done quite a few things. Um, I've ran a few departments. I used to run the personnel department, managing our staff. Um, I've been on some outreaches. I was about to lead the outreach right before this quarantine happened. Um, yeah, and I've staffed various DTSs and other secondary schools. And yeah, I think that's a good chunk of what I've done here. Um, so tonight, Jessica and I just wanted to talk about uh, the topic of rest. Both of us during this quarantine have just kind of discovered like the importance of what it means to rest and what that looks like for us. So we just kind of have a few questions that we want to ask each other to discuss this topic a little bit and share with you guys. And yeah, we just hope that you guys can glean from this conversation. So uh, Jessica, if you wouldn't mind just maybe just sharing a little bit about what your schedule kind of looked like before this quarantine yeah definitely so before this quarantine you know we work 9 to 5 30 every day here at yy monday through friday and then we usually have things on the weekends as well and then on top of that too i usually have lots of church activities in the weekend i'm very connected in the area with the church and then i'm also hanging out with people wanting to get coffee doing things on saturdays and before you know it weeks go by and you just i haven't really rested or really taken the time to just be away from people um, so it was just busy. It was just this constant cycle of not taking the time to stop and think and just be. And because of that, you don't realize that you're burnt out until you stop. And so that's something that I really noticed. Um, my schedule was just so packed full. There was something almost every night on top of, you know, wanting to be healthy and trying to work out and all this other stuff. So yeah, I would just, the best word I could say was just overly busy. Mm -hmm. What about, what about you, Liz? What, what was it like? Yep, uh, same. I've also booked myself. Uh, last night we were going through uh, my my old planner and I'm like, hmm, yep, something every morning, something every night. And then of course, just doing things for work, um, just, you know, all the tasks, um, especially like this last quarter, just trying to get all of the outreach stuff planned and ready to go um and you know i was doing a little bit better i'd say this past fall um yeah i just i was a little bit more disciplined with trying to like have a sabbath day mm -hmm. um but i don't know like it's been a hard it's been hard to tr just like have a sabbath i guess because um Growing up, I just thought that having a Sabbath day was going to church and then you come home and you just kind of relax and don't do like anything, like yeah. just lay on the couch and yeah. you just don't do anything. Um, yeah, so it's, um, it's, it's interesting, like I know before I was just so busy, I didn't ever rest or be intentional about it at all, but this past like winter quarter, um, yeah, from the fall to like the winter is when I started working on it a little bit more. So, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 it's getting better. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, so because of our, like, schedule change, mm -hmm. um, what, uh, what have you realized about your schedule that was, like, I guess, unhealthy? Definitely. So, um, because of the quarantine, Wild Denver isn't working, like, the hours that it used to so we're still doing staff meetings and getting together we can virtual like zoom calls as i'm sure everybody is right now mm -hmm. but because of that we've actually had the time just to stop and reflect and i think the best word that i can say is just be like there hasn't been this pressure to do anything mm -hmm. or to be anything more than just ourselves and that for me has been just a really beautiful time of coming back to the lord and being what is he asking of me and what have i forgotten of him and what are things that I need to change within my own life schedule? Mm -hmm. um, for me, I'm a very introverted person and I get overstimulated by people and honestly, almost everything. Mm -hmm. And so if I don't take the time to just be, stop and rest, 
it's almost like stop, talk, and roll. But if I don't get the time to just stop and be with the Lord, I really lose who I am with Him. And I think that's what rest provides. That's what your Sabbath day provides is this time of just you can be and your identity is in Him. It's not what you have to do. It's not all the responsibilities that you have to take care of. It's really it's just you being with the Lord and you being um, as a person. And I know we were talking last night of the scripture, which I'm sure you're going to be talking about a lot. Um, Psalms 40. 610 mm-hmm. be still and know that I'm God and it's just that same process of mm-hmm. being still with him and so with this open space um, it's just really provided that time of just being and stopping and allowing God to really move in like some really beautiful ways um, mm-hmm. so what about you what is something that like has pointed out to you with this open space and allowed you to process yeah um, well I didn't really notice that. I mean, I I did a little bit, but I think I've I've noticed extra amount during this quarantine of just where I'm feeling depleted. And I know you recommended doing the um, the rest quiz. Yes, everybody take this rest quiz. Um, one of our speakers here um, recommended it to me, and it's called restquiz.com, and you can see where you're depleted in what sphere. So it's not just mental, emotional, and physical rest that you need. There's actually seven different spots of depletion, mm-hmm. and it just blew me away. It basically scales in your normal life. Don't do life during quarantine, because life during quarantine isn't life right now, but a life that you normally live, like where have you been depleted, and how can you find real rest? So yeah. it's awesome. So I took that test this morning, actually, and yeah, as I was taking it, I, I wasn't thinking about like, okay, well, how do I feel now during quarantine um but like right before all this happened like kind of where I was at with how to answer those questions um do you remember what all the seven spheres yeah I I hopefully remember them so it's emotional physical um mental which are the common ones that we know and then there's sensory creative spiritual and I'm definitely forgetting the last one Mm. but there's one more so I can't remember either I was like depleted in I think half of those so um but the um the people who made the quiz I guess what they say Mm -hmm. to focus on the ones that you obviously need more rest Mm -hmm. in and so yeah they get yeah they email you your score and so um yeah, I definitely um, want to try to focus on those. Um, and yeah, I, I think something that, yeah, our, our speaker, Mary Jean, she was saying like, be disciplined enough to take care of yourself. And one way to do that is by rest. And you got to find out what, what areas that you're not feeling rested in. And mm-hmm. if, right, like you said, if you're not going to just be and take that time to figure that out, then uh, then you're, you're just going to keep going yeah. and get you're going to hit burnout. So, mm-hmm. and yeah, we don't want that. The Lord doesn't want that for us. So, um, yeah. So I guess my next question is, what are you going to apply, like, after this quarantine ends Mm -hmm. or once life kind of get gets back to being normal (laughs) um or like uh yeah like what are you going to apply to your life that you've kind of learned about rest during this time or um yeah what have you learned about rest that you want to apply yeah definitely so there's just been honestly a lot one of the main things that i've learned is just abiding with him and that means remaining in him Mm -hmm. um for like going back to that rest quiz my highest depletion was emotions and Uh, I'm not really the one that loves my emotions and I had just some family stuff that happened in the fall and it's it's really just taken a lot to reflect and allow myself to actually like realize those emotions and work through them Mm -hmm. and so through that I realized that my emotions are actually okay but it's also like it's like the father's heart he wants to hear those emotions and like we have so much scripture like the whole prophets are just showing people lamenting for other people or people lamenting for situations or circumstances or reality of what's going on and like it's not something to be ashamed of Mm -hmm. it's actually something to admire and realize Mm -hmm. and it's like we can do that while still being steady in the Lord and that's like what abiding just really has meant to me during this time Mm -hmm. is I can just dwell and honestly devote my time to these emotions and it's not like a bad thing it's actually giving them to him and being like 
you have created me. So through that, how do you want me to handle these emotions? Mm -hmm. um, and so that's been a, it's been very challenging for me, but it's been really good at the same time because it's something I definitely want to take back with me when we get back into some normalcy and, you know, schedules are going to get busy. There's the rhythm of the work rest and we know that there's going to be seasons of more or less. Um, but at the same time, we can still abide in him no matter what. And so that's just something that I really want to take with me and not forget about what about what about you Liz yeah um well uh it's it's just funny because at the beginning of this quarantine I just would wake up when I mm -hmm. would feel like I needed to wake up and I didn't want to I like knew in my brain I was like I'm not going to be like I am over Christmas break where I stay up to like three in the morning. I was like, I'm not going to do that. I just, I want to stay on a normal schedule. And I've been pretty good about that. And so, um, yeah, I would just wake up and if I wanted, I mean, it's been so nice here in Colorado. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's been great. Our backyard is getting a total remodel. So, so it's, it's been so nice. It's been great. <laughs> I love our backyard. Um, so yeah, just going outside and eating my breakfast and taking my devotional book. It's just been just like that relaxing, taking it, taking it slow and knowing that like, I don't have to do my to-do list today. And like, I feel like that's what our rest day, well, at least for me personally, it's mm -hmm. like, Definitely. no, I should be working on my to-do list all the other days of the week. Um, but then when it's my day of rest and like Mary Jean told us, like put it on your calendar otherwise it doesn't happen. Um, which, yes, I mean, every because otherwise I'll just, someone will be like, hey, you want to go to the, go do this really cool fun thing? And I'll be like, yeah, I didn't put rest day on my calendar. Like, but if it's there, I'm seeing that it's there and I, and I it will make me say no because mm -hmm. I'm so bad at saying no because I'm super late, super, super like a social person, whatever. Yeah, so um, I think just like what you said, just like being and like just paying attention to what my mind, body, spirit mm -hmm. needs for that day, for that rest day. Mm -hmm. And I mean, like I was doing kind of in the winter and fall, like Sundays were those days and I could choose to go to church in the morning or the evening, mm -hmm. which was really great. Mm -hmm. um, and um, yeah, the other verse besides Psalm 4610 was um, Exodus 1414. Um, which says the Lord will fight for you. You only need to be still. And um, just another like small testimony with that was, yeah, there was one morning that I was sitting outside um, with the Lord just in silence. Um, and I just felt like he was saying, bless little Jade today. Mm -hmm. um, Jade's the six-year-old that we live with um, upstairs, her and her family. And um, yeah, so I was like, okay, well, we're going on a walk and we ended up finding some horses and she was mm -hmm. she was like so excited to meet these horses and I knew that there was horses on this trail but I didn't know if we were going to run into them mm -hmm. but it was like okay like she was super blessed and then I was super blessed because she was blessed mm -hmm. and just as we're like walking through the grassy like field um I just really felt the Lord's presence and it was just this like overwhelming joy of God just being there in nature with us. And um, that was really restful to my soul. And so I don't know if I would have chosen to do that that afternoon if I wasn't, if I didn't take the first thing in the morning to just be still and, and listen. And yeah, like the Lord is fighting for me. He wants me to have that rest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he wants yeah. it. He, he says for us to have, you know, a Sabbath. So um, yeah, um, I think that's, that's, um, a big, just a big thing that I want to implement, I think, as we step back into normal life, mm -hmm. um, whenever that will be, yeah. <laughs> um, however that's gonna look like, I don't know, but, but yeah, I think this time, like, yeah, my Sabbath will look like an average day of quarantine. quarantine. <laughs> Yeah, quarantine life will be our new Sabbath days. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, this has been like a really good uh, example. It's really just shown me 
the importance of rest because I do feel really rested. Like today, I accomplished so many things on my to-do list because I've, I've had all this time to rest and yeah. like I'm just, I'm ready to go. Yeah. So I think when we do start going back to work full time, I'll hopefully feel that energy, yeah. but I gotta, you know, make sure to keep our Sabbath, like he says, so. Yeah, and that's definitely something I think we all need to implement is like if we're abiding in him, that is daily rest. Yeah. And I think it's, yeah, it's great if we do a weekly rest with having a Sabbath, but our work is sh should be made out of our rest, which is why, like, I think it's so cool. Yeah. In Genesis, the first thing God commanded Adam to do was literally to rest. Like, he didn't, he wasn't worth his work. Like, I, his identity wasn't in his work. It was yeah. literally just to be with God. Mm -hmm. It's that relationship, and that can overflow into our work, which I think is something really, really beautiful that we can mm -hmm. see um, during this time, it's so easy to be like, oh, like there's nothing to do and there's nothing to get done. But actually, like the Lord just wants to sit with you. Like the Lord just mm -hmm. wants to be with us. Um, he wants to be on your hikes or your nature walks or sit with you by the pond or like mm -hmm. whatever it looks like for you. Like he wants to be there with that. And so our Sabbath is just a day that we can celebrate and say, like, look what the Lord has done. Mm -hmm. Like to celebrate, reflect, process, but also just acknowledge that like he's this good mm -hmm. that he's given us this and so yeah. i think that's great yeah very much so and i i think just um it, i just remembered like mary jean would tell us like have your list of things that mm -hmm. you know that fill you up and like so that when you do come to your rest day it's like you don't have to really plan it's just kind of like oh i know i know these things okay let me open up my planner oh yep these are the things that I like to do mm -hmm. okay because sometimes we just get overwhelmed and like it's busy <laughs> um or but, when you're just overly tired too that's always my thing like if it's yeah. my Sabbath day and I haven't planned for it I'll be like yeah I'm good with just like staying in bed and not doing anything because that will give me rest but I'm like mm -hmm. I like doing things I like going hiking and I like being outside and I like being with people that I love and if I like forget to plan that day it's like almost like a wasted Sabbath because I haven't actually spent any time with him because yeah. I've just been so tired and so mm -hmm. that's a great idea yeah and another thing I was thinking of was it, it's like you know obviously we're going through our day like with Jesus like we're we're talking to him throughout the day but there's something like really special about being intentional with him I mean you think about that with friendships and stuff. It's like, okay, like we live in the same house and, but if we're not spending intentional time together, like if we don't intentionally like go on a walk with each other, it's like, okay, I know you and I see you, mm -hmm. but there's that really special like connection and conversation that we can have mm -hmm. if we're like intentionally like, let's go on a walk, you know? So I think that's really important to think about our relationship with God that mm -hmm. way too. Um, yeah, and it's like those are the moments that he's maybe going to speak to you about like your future or like something with your job or an idea that you need help brainstorming with. Mm -hmm. And it's like those are perfect times. So like setting those intentional times with him yeah, and just great. be and just be. <laughs> yeah, yes, definitely. So that's just something that we put on our hearts that we just really felt that not only did it benefit us, but it benefits all of us. Like this was a command of the Lord and he wasn't doing it because he's this mean man. He's doing this because he's a father. He just loves his children. And so I just, if we don't mind, I'm just going to pray a blessing yeah. over that. And yeah. then just, this is something that takes a long time to dig into. And it's something to be disciplined in us. Liz definitely talked about it. it's a discipline to want to do this. Um, but it's something so fruitful when you do it. So I'm just going to pray and then great. Awesome. Father, we just thank you so much for this time. Um, I just thank you so much for this talk on rest and how valuable it is. Lord, I just ask that anybody who is watching today or will watch in the future will just be really blessed by the words that were spoken on the importance of Sabbath and taking the time just to be. So Lord, as we remain in you and abide, Lord, let us have fruit and a harvest that is to come. And let us just be blessed because you bless us every day. In Jesus' name, amen.